Hi everyone. I am Mrs. S. D. Rani, Assistant Professor of English, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we are going to discuss about root words. With the help of root words, how the words will form. Today we are going to discuss about the root words, and with the help of root words, how the words will form. In the previous session, when we discussed about vocabulary. Briefly, we have uh, uh, discussed root words also. So, root words are very important to enhance your vocabulary. So, vocabulary we discussed. How to enhance vocabulary we discussed. What are the criteria to enhance your vocabulary we discussed. And today, we are going to discuss about root words, prefixes, and suffixes in detail. Now, let's move on to the session. Let's move on to the session. Root words. So, first of all, what is a root word? A root word is a word without a suffix in front of the word, or an suffix at the end of the word. The root word is uh, the main word to form words. Okay, here. Why should we learn root words? prefixes and suffixes so here to figure out why we have to learn root words means just to figure out the meaning of new words by learning about the three word parts what are those three word parts roots prefixes suffixes roots means base words prefixes word in the beginning suffixes word at the end so this is like interactive presentation which creates words with a uh, roots prefixes and suffixes let us see this so let us go for the definition of the root word first knowing the root word can help you understand and remember difficult words much better this is the use of a root word root is not like a, a tree root how the roots for the tree is very important in the same way root words are also very important to build the language to build the words and number of words it gives proper meaning uh, only with the root words if you don't have root words having prefixes and suffixes is a waste okay and then here is see how this root word is a base word let us see here a root word is a base word you can change the meaning of this root word by adding prefixes and suffixes so here i have given a few words biblio bio card b i b l i o biblio means a book bio means life card means c a r d c o r d two we have heart we call them biblio is a root word when we have suffix at the end of the word graphy graphy okay so we get the complete meaning what is bibliography collection of books collection of books bibliophile is a person who reads books bible is a book is a book so what is the root word for all these biblio the next word is bio bio means life bio means life biology biography biosphere these are the suffixes when we use uh, add suffixes to the root word bio we get proper meaning card c a r d cardiac cardiac cardiovascular so when we add eac eac c a r d the suffix is i a c when you add we get proper meaning to the root word Ca cardiovascular so these are without root word if you have these uh, suffix eac no meaning at all so root word is the base word understand and the next word also here i have given a few prefixes i have given dick d i k dick d o k dock 
மீனிங் dick predict verdict the next one is dock dock is also from latin expression only latin word only dock means teach dock means teach document doctor t o r suffix ment ment suffix if you add doctrine if you add these suffixes it gives some mean but without root word we cannot add anything having prefixes and suffixes is a waste okay d o n d o n a t donate are the root words these are also from latin words only which means give give donation donor pardon pardon p a r is a suffix we have added in front of done pardon please pardon means i didn't understand will you please tell me again is the meaning donor one who gives something donation something that we get in the form of a donation so this is the importance of root words in framing meaningful words okay and then here i have given a few examples uh, to these uh, root words am amor am amor a m a m o r are the root words which means love liking love liking here beautiful pictures also i have given here my best friend my best friend is amiable am able am able amiable what is the root word here a m a m amiable means lovable very or uh, like uh, passionate we can say that mama and penguin and her baby are amorous amorous means passionate very lovable see the penguin how beautiful it is here very lovable okay so am and amor are root words to give a proper expression to these sentences amiable uh, amorous amorous okay and the next one is odd a u d a u d odd is a root word odd is a root word which means uh, here listen here listen when we hear something when we listen something the root word that we get word we get from the root word root is odd auditorium audience odd a u d odd here is see a band played music in the auditorium a band played music in the auditor i have given a beautiful picture of auditorium here a people they are clapping their hands the audience clapped at the end of the performance audience so root word is the main word which gives meaning to the either prefix or suffix okay and the next c y c l c y c l is a root word cycle cycle wheel meaning is wheel and circular wheel and circular wheel and circular wheel is in the form a shape of circle only isn't it so here three beautiful pictures that i have given taking the root word c y c l wheel bicycle bicycle recycle and cyclone bicycle recycle cyclone here see i went to ride my bicycle i went i have taken a ride on my new bicycle two students or two friends they are going on a ride here taking their bicycles c y c l is the root word here c y c l is the root word and here 
in the next word also next sentence also it is important to recycle paper plastic and cans it's very important to re recycle waste things what are those either paper plastic or cans whatever it is recycle in this recycle also we have a, a root word c y c l here prefixes r e we have and suffix e we have okay another name for tornado is cyclone cyclone beautiful picture of cyclone also i have given here another name for tornado is a cyclone here in this also c y c l as a root word o n e is a suffix here clear yes and the next word is yeah in this way we have these root words how to use these root words and when you use these root words what sort of meaning that we get okay so usually root words means once again i would like to tell without affix and suffix without prefix and suffix we take root word but if we add prefix and suffix to these root words we get a very good meaning to the word how we are going to get the meaning meaningful words see let us see in the next slide prefixes what are prefixes this is very easy like we we have come across this prefix and suffix n number of time times in our grammar prefix means at the beginning of any word if we use that we call prefix even in the word prefix also we have pre that fixes before that fixes before okay so here pre is before un not miss wrong or bad re once again so prefix is added before the root word to make a new word let us see what all the prefixes that we have prefix miss the first prefix is m i s prefix which means wrong which means wrong here see i have given a few, three sentences misbehave misspell misread in a picture what i have given in the slide two people they have taken a paper in their hand they are trying to read but that is misreading they are unable to read properly and here another sentence that i have here in this slide i can spell good but there is no proper spelling in this i can means k a n he has written which is a wrong spelling okay g o o d good g u d good he has written all these are misspells okay so here miss is a for this spell prefix what we have added miss which is wrong spelling behave is a verb where we have added miss which is wrong has become misbehave read reading if we add miss before that it will become it has become wrong that is misread okay and the next word is sub what is sub here what is the meaning of the prefix sub under submarine submarine which is in the water under water isn't it so here we all live in a uh, hello submarine hello submarine sub is a prefix here in the picture also i have given the uh, figure of submarine okay and then here hari is the subordinate to the team leader hari is a subordinate to the team leader subordinate means who works under another person officer okay so in this and the next one is prefix i m im im which means not imperfect not perfect immature not matured okay here uh, impossible not possible here you see it's impossible to hear you there is a strong wall in between you and me it's impossible to hear you no i cannot and the next one is it didn't fit because it was imperfect yesterday i got a new dress so it didn't got fit it is imperfect not perfect it is 
and then the children were silly and immature they don't know what they are doing immature they are not mature okay so in this way prefix that what we have add to give the meaning to the root word okay and the next one is prefix un un is also gives the meaning not untidy unable unwell unbelievable unlucky so when we added prefix un in front of the root word it gives the meaning it changes the meaning of the word also here you see his handwriting is just an untidy scrawl very untidy his handwriting is tidy means very neat okay it's not tidy and the next one the boy tried to push the door the boy tried the push door but he was unable to open it the door was so strong the door was so strong but he was unable to open it unable unable which gives the meaning not using prefix un and what is the third one peter had been unwell all the morning right from the beginning till now throughout the mornings you know, see peter had been feeling unwell he is not well un not clear yes the next one is suffix so far we have uh, read about we have discussed about prefixes how they add meaning to the root now the suffix a suffix is also a letter or a group of words a uh, one letter or a group of letters or a word add at the end of the word which makes a new word happy happiest happy is a word when you add est at the end of the word it gives more meaning means superlative degree it is happiest he is the happiest person in the world no other person in the world is as happy as he is okay happiest est is a here suffix so when we add this est to the word root word it gives meaning so here are some examples est just now we have seen the most highest largest hottest smallest strongest so est means most most here blue whale is the largest animal blue whale is the largest animal in the est we have added here suffix mount everest is the highest peak highest peak in the world no other peak is there in the world you see as high as mount everest venus is the hottest planet venus is the hottest planet the most hot planet in the solar system okay so in this way we can use uh, next suffix is full f u l to be full of to be full of extreme beautiful no other girl is in the class as beauty as this girl as beautiful as this girl beautiful wonderful helpful peaceful thankful full is a suffix we add after the word to change the meaning of meaning of the complete word the weather was so beautiful weather was so beautiful it's drizzling here and there like a uh, rain droplets are uh, falling on the earth drizzling the weather was so beautiful yesterday he had a wonderful trip yesterday we had a wonderful trip full we went to a beautiful spot we had a trip that was so wonderful full is a suffix and thank you so much another word sentence is thank you so much we are really helpful you are really helpful thank you so much for your help so helpful full is the suffix here okay and the next one is ed what is ed ed is a 
or uh, regular uh, which comes under regular form which we use uh, for past tenses what had come happened we played soccer at the races played p l a y e d e d is a past tense uh, suffix past tense suffix jos called his mom called call is a verb ed when we add it will become past tense in this way also we can use suffixes here i gave uh, two pictures for jos called mom using his cell phone and then a boy he is playing uh, soccer okay he played soccer and the next one is less l e s s we know the meaning of less without without anything helpless thoughtless speechless helpless okay here i can't describe how helpless i felt so in the midst of that dangerous situation i cannot describe the situation how helpless i am there in that so when we were in a trouble when no one is there to help us the situation is helpless and thoughtless it was thoughtless of you to forget your sister's birthday yes we never think about uh, forgetting our siblings birthdays our mother father's birthdays our very close friends uh, uh, celebrations so we can use this word thoughtless to to forget your sister's birthday okay and then so here you see we have discussed so far root words prefixes and suffixes i think uh, we have done a super investigation on root words prefixes and suffixes i think you got sufficient sufficiency means you got full satisfaction like practice well root words prefixes and suffixes where you'll find beauty in the grammar structures okay thank you so much students for being with me uh, in this entire session all the best practice grammar rules of root words prefixes and suffixes to enhance your vocabulary thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates